Nile kwa msalaba Hapo lisema yote ya mekwisha Upendo wako baba Hakika unanishangaza Kamtua wako mwana Msalaba ni ya kafa Kazi beba zangulana Hili mitwe mwana Nikitafakari upendo wajabu na bakini na shanga Hivyo lupenda ulimwengu Kamtua mwana uwaje kwetu Kafe kwa chili ya gambi zetu Lele lele Atakaye mwani ya sipote Balia wenu simoni lele We wajabu Mungu wajabu na kupenda sana Dia Lord Upendo Upendo wakalivari Umeiwe zaro ya Upendo Upendo wakalivari Umetosha tosha Upendo Upendo wakalivari Kwingine sijao Upendo Wajabu sana Toka mbingu ni kani shukia Na gambi zangu kani bebea Salava ni kani filia Yesu pendo wako mtamu sana Nikitelezo ni shikilia Nikianguka wani inua Nikipotea wani kujia Na kwa chia za kwa wani rejeisha Wali ahidi kumipenda binadamu Bada siku moja wao wakatoka Ila baba sijai kutosha nono Ay, 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 ay Uko na mikila siku ya kalenda Toka januari to december You're my provider, protector Mtetezi wangu Wangu salama Upendo Upendo wakalivari Umeiwe zaro ya Upendo Upendo wakalivari Umetosha tosha Upendo Upendo wakalivari Kwingine sijao Upendo Wajabu sana Dear Lord Upendo Upendo wakalivari Umeiwe zaro ya Upendo Upendo wakalivari Umetosha tosha Upendo Upendo wakalivari Kwingine sijao Upendo Wajabu sana Shukuru sana. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome back here on Event Point TV. And of course, this is HPTV in the morning show. And we are right back with the gospel minister for today. And I, I know you have seen him on the screens. Many of you know him. And in case if you are, if you are seeing him for the first time, today is your day to know more about him because we'll be having him on our studios. He's a blessed man of God love him so much and uh, i know he is a blessing to each and every one of you right uh praise the lord sir amen amen leo. Nashukuru. karibu sana karibu sana asante nafraia sana kukuona tena hapa Nashukuru pia. yeah amen. so uh, just introduce yourself pale kwa camera and wanya wakujui waweze kukujua amen bwana sifiwe sana watazamaji wa hbtv uh i'm nixon muziki son of omani ni miyokoka yesu ni bwana na mwakozi wa maisha yangu amenifanyia mema amenitendea mema na nashukuru sana kuwa malapa nichukue nafasi nishukuru DJ Eric so for this chance uh, nishukuru management ya HBTV kwa kuwa nami hapa na kusapoti wasanii may the Lord bless you Mungu watende mema amen amen sana sana Nixon yeah uh, to those who when you mjui vizuri I mean I'm for uh, for a long time he has been a good friend to HPTV in the morning. He has been here for, you know, the first time, this is the second time, I guess. And it's a blessing, and I know God is going to do us good. Yeah, Nixon. Yes, sir. Yeah, Safari so Mekwaji so far, since last time to Yukua, for last year. Uh, Mungu wa Mekwa Mominifu. Mm -hmm. Mungu wa Menitenda Mema. Mm -hmm. uh, Aijawa Raisi, mm -hmm. mana 
katika hii maisha hakuna kitu kinakuja kwa urahisi lakini ile zuri ni kujikakamua na kujituma ya kwamba Mungu anaona bidii yako na anajibia maombi yako maana kila kitu ni kuamulia na kutenda pasipokuwa mulia na kutenda hakuna kitu fanyika na hakuna kitu wa rahisi lakini Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu na maisha yetu na tuna sababu ya kumshukuru Mungu na kumwambia Mungu ni asante kwa kutulausha tena kutupatia nafasi nyingine amen, amen. amen. Ya yeah, nakumbuka the last time we were here ulikuwa kwa Gospel Delight show ndio Ya 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 kana kwa Felix now this mm. HPT in the morning tunakupenda sana so i know you have a testimony about uh, what God has done into your life and i know you are going to encourage somebody over there yeah because w- w- you might be passing something unapitia za changamoto fulani ambayo wengine walipitia na Mungu akawasaidia unapata kujitia moyo kujua mm. kwamba uko peke yako na kwamba pia Mungu anakupenda mm. ah hivi sasa Nixon. Yes, Safari yako kikuro hapo pale maisha ilikuwaaje? Uh, Nixon muziki amezaliwa pale kijijini wa Mani, mm-hmm. uh, Old New Sabuk Machakos County. Na wazazi wangu Samuel na Beatrice, uh, nimelelewa pale, nikakulia pale na nikasomea pale. Nimezaliwa kwa familia watoto saba nikiwa nimefanikiwa kuwa mtoto wa tano mm-hmm. Na nimezaliwa na familia ambayo haikuwa na uwezo ule sana. Hmm. Lakini nashukuru Mungu mbali na changamoto zote, mbali na maisha yote, nichukue nafasi hii nishukuru wazazi wangu sana maana wakutuachilia. Uh, mimi nimezaliwa na baba ambaye <coughs> haezi vizuri kutembea vile sisi tunatembea. Lakini kwa vile hali yake ya siezi si sema eti ni disability ama nini, lakini kwa ile hali yake ya kwenda kivuta miguu yake baba wangu ajai tuachilia na ajai enda upande wetu ajai enda amin kando yetu amesimama na sisi amechimbia watu mitaro ndo sisi tusome amesimbia amechimbia watu mitaro ndo sisi tukule mamangu mzazi amelimia watu mashamba ndo sisi tukule enda kwa kila familia yote inakuanga furaha ya mzazi kuona kwamba amengangana yake yote na watoto wake wako wazima. Tukalelewa pale kijijini uh, maisha ikawa ikawa tu mbaya sana sana maana um, Aku kuanga na ule uwezo wa eti tunaweza kula ama ile dalili eti tunaweza kula kukula ilikuwa ni neema ya Mungu. Anashukuru Mungu maana kuna mmoja wetu aliaga ama kuna mmoja wetu um, uh, alikata tamaa. Bwana asante sana. Nashukuru Mungu maana mbali na changamoto zote kama ni kudharauliwa kati ya familia watoto saba tumedharauliwa. Kama ni kukataliwa tumekataliwa. Kama ni kukata tamaa wengine wetu tumekata tamaa. Lakini Mungu bado anatushikilia. Kama ni kusema vibaya tumesema vibaya. Let me tell you nakumbuka kwamba kuna wakati uh, ilikuwa imeenea kwa kijiji kwetu kama kila mahali kuna sherehe familia ya msioka ndo namba moja pale na ndo wanatambulika pale enda hiyo ikutukatisha tamaa maana sasa sisi ni watoto si ndio na mtoto kama uko na jaa lazima ukashibe mahali kuna chakula eh lazima ukashibe mahali kuna chakula na hiyo chakula ndio ilitufanya tuishi malapa maana mimi kama mtoto ukinisema itaingilia sikio hii itatokea sikio hii hiyo sasa ndio utaniona mahali pengine na mimi nikishaya kula nimetoka na nimeenda na inihusu na nimeendelea ku grow bwana asiye sana wazazi wetu hawakuogopa haibu walitulea wanapita tu bangu anatoka anaenda kwa duka ile niko peshe unga bila kujua eti tutalipa namna gani lakini ili posa tu watoto wake wasome watoto wake wakule watoto wake wakue vizuri. Uh, maisha ikaendelea vile uh, na life ikasonga vile uh, lakini nashukuru Mungu maana sisi tulizaliwa kwa familia ambayo imeokoka na familia inamjua Mungu. Kwa hivyo uh, zile mambo tulipitia tulikuwa tunajua na shukuru maana maana sana maana wazazi wetu wale tukalisha na ile tumaini light kuna kesho na pengine yaenda kesho ikashangaza na yaenda kesho ikakuwa zuri kuliko leo. Na shukuru Mungu uh, for our holder sister anaitwa Rosen ni mwimbaji pia. Uh, na shukuru Mungu kwa hiyo dada maana alisimamia Mungu. Na naweza sema ni yeye amekuwa chanzo cha pengine pia mimi kums- kusimamia Mungu. Maana katika maisha yangu nimefuata jia zake zenye alipitia. Huyo msichana alishinda maana alikuwa mwombaji 
na alishinda maana alipenda Mungu. Then mimi nikafuata jia zake kwamba pia mimi huyu Mungu nitamfuata na nitamuona pia. Enda that ikaenda hivyo then nikatoka kijijini na sasa nikaanza kujisimamisha kama mtu. Nilipoanza kujisimamisha kama mtu sasa hapo ndo wanaweza sema live ili nianzia. Uh, maana pia niko na ile eh, burden ya uimbaji nataka kuimba lakini sasa nimetoka kijijini sina pesa sijui wapi nianzie. Nilipotoka kijijini niliingia hapa Said Zaudhiru. Ndari se hapa nililoa kabeta mani hapa <laughs> nilipoingia pale nilianza na, nilianza kungangana na maisha maana nilienda kwa brother yangu tukakaa na yeye vizuri akawa anatulisha pale watu kadhaa tu sitasema lakini nikawa tu natafuta jia kuanza life uh -huh. nakumbuka job yangu ya kwanza nikiwa nikiwa mchanga sana nikiwa sijui hata kama nilikuwa nimefikisha miaka kumi na nane mm. kama nilikuwa miaka kumi na sita hapo mm. job yangu ya kwanza nilienda mjengo Uh, nilikuwa nimeitua mahali mjengo nikaenda nikapata hakuna nikirudi nikakuja kupata mahali kuna watu wanachapa koroga nipapata kuna watu wanachapa koroga uh, nikaulizwa kijana hata wakungojea niulize kazi vile waliona niliingia kwa gito kaniuliza kijana unataka kazi nikawaambia ndio my friend niliambiwa chukua ndo na ujue hii koroga ni ya wale watu wenye wamezoea yani hiyo ndo kazi yao monday to saturday hiyo ndo kazi wanafanyanga na ni contract lazima wamalize mimi nikachukua ndo ndo ni kuweka kakoto kumwagilia kwa mashine ile mashine haita pumzika ni kuweka 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 my friend nakwambia kaenda kufika saa sa nane na nusu ndio nilikula lunch mm. mali nilienda kuketi chini hivi singeweza kuambuka kumbuka niko kijana mdogo mimi sijazoea hizi kazi na sijaifanya kazi kama hizi ngumu ngumu tena mm. mali nilienda nikalala tu hivi nikaketi chini hivi ni kule nilikula nikiwa siwezi keti hivi vizuri nimeketi yani nimelalisha mgongo mmoja mgongo kwa ukuta hivi ndio niweze kukula maana mgongo inaniuma mm. then after that sijui kama to take like 20 minutes nikaamka tena kuambua tuingie pale tena after kumaliza hiyo job my friend hadi mm. kufika kwa nyumba ilikuwa ni neema mm. yani nilikazana na mwili wangu kesho yake hadi kuamka kwa kitanda my friend ilikuwa ni vita mara mm. dango maana sasa ilinifunza kuwa na ujasiri na kuwa mwanaume juu already sasa nimeanza kujitegemea mm. nimetoka kwa wazazi wangu wazazi wangu wanaangalia pia wanitegemea mm. so nimetoka pale lazima nijitume kama mwanaume hivi sasa niko na miaka inatosha ama itoshi mm kesho yake kuinua mtungi bana nikajaribu kuinua mtungi kawa ni noma but Mungu ni mwaminifu tu nikaenda sasa nikizoea nikazoea nikatoka area hizo uh, nikaenda nikapata kazi ya church mahali Kirinyaga Kirinyaga nikaenda nikafanya fanya tukazoeana na hiyo pastor tukawa watu wazuri but ikafika mahali nikamwambia i have to look na, 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 na fani angalie place zingine kwenye naweza pata mafanikio. Mungu ni mwaminifu. After that uh, nilitoka na nikaingia mjini Kiambu. Nilipoingia mjini Kiambu naweza sema hadi wa leo niko niko within Kiambu County. Na pale nimeumia pale, nimetesekea pale lakini finally Mungu tu amenikumbukia pale. Enda uh, nilipoingia mjini Kiambu niliingia mahali kuna itangwa Kiambu Town kuna place inaitangwa Riabai. Riabai nilienda kuishi mahali kunaitwa huko chini kuna itangwa Gatina. Mm. Then nikapata job ya, ya shamba kuna shamba za kawa huko mingi mm. uh, nikapata job ya shamba tulipopata uh, job ya shamba huko kwa kawa tukapewa kanyumba jumlikuwa na kazini yangu na jamaa mwingine rafiki yetu mmoja tukapewa kanyumba huko kambi tukapewa kanyumba tukaange uh, tukakazana na ile ile kibarua ikakuja ikaa sama ni kama inasimama mm. soju tunataka pesa lazima tungeangalia kampuni nyingine at least mm -hmm tunaweza pata pesa zaidi jua hapa tumesimamishwa kidogo. Hata yeah. tumeenda kwa ile kabuni nyingine, manager wapa akapata habari kuna vijana wa, wako kazi walienda kampuni nyingine. So ukuja tukapata tumepoa notice tuame kwa hiyo nyumba, tutafute nyumba. Sasa hiyo tu hii nyumba ni ya kupewa. Sasa hiyo lazima tuanzishe maisha. Hatuna pesa. Nakumbuka nilikuwa na 1000 kwa simu nikaambia majamaa, tutafanya ni aje tutafuteni kanyumba kama bati, hii place hatuwezi kosa kanyumba kadhao. Mungu ni mwaminifu tulipata kanyumba ka ka I think 1000 eh? mm. eh, tukaingia na tuliingia mwezi ikiwa katikati tukakaa I think tulikaa one week hapo mm. kanyumba Mungu ni mwaminifu akatu promote tukapata kanyumba kengine ka kamawe sasa tulikuwa tunalipa 1500 tukakaa pale tukichapa ile job tukichapa ile job Mungu akanisaidia hivi nikapata kazi kengine kwa kampuni fulani ya maua ilikuwa inaitwa Kenfrola mm. ile kampuni ya maua ilikuwa ya Muindi na vile nilikuwa mdogo nikienda kuuliza kazi pale Muindi na watu wake wakaniangalia hivi wakanidharau wakaona huyu kijana 
ataweza kazi na tunaweza mpea kazi ya toroke lakini mimi kumbuka kuna kazi nishaifanya ngumu hadi kajifanya ni kuwe sujaa na ni kuwe uh, jasiri kwamba liwe liwalo hakuna ku give up na kazana na kila kitu na pigana na kila kitu nika nika ni, wakanipea barua niende nijaze ni chaef na nisef na nini nikakuja mimi kama mwanaume wakanipeleka ile kazi ngumu kabisa waona kama ukijana atatoboa nilipewa kazi ya kubeba maua my friend nilikuwa na beba maua na na, na trori ukishapewa shamba mzima kwa muindi umepewa kwamba huu unamwagiria barabara zote za hiyo shamba maji asubuhi unaweka ndoo za maua pale ziweko maua upeleke gradings zikatengenezwe kisha baadaye ubebe uchafu uchafu ndio ilikuwa tricky maana mali ulikuwa unapeleka ni mali kwa miteremko na, na milima na mali utaenda final ndio uende kumwaga ni mteremko na ukumbuke hiki kitu ina break when no break eh? kuna time nakumbuka nilienda nyumbani nikiwa nasikia nasikia mugongo imeleta shida juu hiyo kitu nilienda kushikia break hivi mm. uh, nikateleza so nikateleza migui ika, ika, ikaenda mbele mugongo ikabaki na nyuma nikienda nyumbani nasikia uchungu na ijuliza my god i kazi lakini wapi bado na kazana ndo au wasimamizi wako wakuja wakaniambia kijana by the way tumejua unapenda kazi tulikupea kazi tulidhani uh, utatoroka utaacha hii kazi kwambia my friend nishatoka mikononi mwa wazazi wangu mm. tena hata nikirudi kijijini mimi mali si pazuri na hali si zuri nyumbani sasa hivi ningangane mimi kimimi nijitume kimbadala kwenda kuongezea wazazi wangu mzigo pale ah yezi lazima nijitume kimwanaume nikazane kimwanaume hapo ndo nikapata fever na huyo muhindi tukapendana ikafika mahali sasa jumi nilikuwa napenda god sana na naona hii job ni pay time ya kwenda church nikamwambia muhindi manze mimi na feel uh, nitaondokea hii job sasa hiyo kumbuke sina kazi lakini kamwambia mimi nitaondokea hii job just tu juu ya kitu moja sande Eri tu nipate Mungu Sunday ni angaika hizi siku zingine. Mi nikipata Mungu Sunday I think mi niko sawa. Maana watu wengi sisi bila Mungu manzi hatuna kitu. Mungu akituondokea sisi ni bure manzi. Tumekuwa hapa juu ya God. Na kila kitu tunahesabia kila dakika ni Mungu. Kama sio Mungu atuje tungekuwa wapi? Um, Ndio mwindi akaniambia pana nitakutoa department hiyo ni kuweke department ya maji. Ndio at least hapo mtakuwa mnagawana huyu akienda sunday tutukua watatu huyu anaenda sunday hiyo anaenda sunday hiyo kwa hivyo kwa mwezi kuna mtu angeenda sunday mbili mm. uh, mimi kuna kuna jamaa mwezi wangu wa kwenda sunday ya pili alikuwa mkubwa wangu akakuja akanyang'anya sunday moja yeye anaenda sunday ngapi mm. aende mbili na ashaenda mbili za za hiyo kwa mm. sasa walinipea walinipea next week wakanipatia off mimi sikurudi kazi Mm. Nisema sasa acha niangaike kimimi. Nilianza kuenda juu wakati huo hizo mashamba ni za kaawa. Kwa hivyo kaawa imeshika na kaawa ukifanyia hesabu debe moja ni mia mm. Ukiingia pale uchape debe kama tano uko na mia tano mm. Mimi niliingia kwa kampuni ya kaawa mimi nika nika nikaanza nika kuchuna kaawa. Mwindi ananipigia simu ananiambia kijana wangu rudi na mwambia zi. Mi si rudi, mi acha nipambane kimimi. Sasa mm. mimi juu nimejifanya jauri nimejifanya kichwa ngumu na nikakazana na na, 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 na kuchuna kaawa ile kaawa ikakuja ikaisha. Mm. My friend hapo ndo nilianza ku test life. Mm. Ndo nilianza kujua life ni nini my friend. Juu sasa ni nianze kurudi sasa kutafuta mijengo na kutafuta kazi hizi za vibarua barua mali nitapata. Mungu ni mwaminifu atukua tunakosa vibarua za, za kulima. Na unajua vibarua za hapa kwa wakikuyu kuna wengine ukua tu roho nzuri. Unaingia tu saa mbili saa saba uko nje umejiandikisha siku yako ya mia tatu Kuna wenye tu ni roho nzuri lakini kuna wenye roho ngumu ukiingia asubuhi ni hadi saa kumi Lakini sisi tulikuwa tunapata watu wazuri wanakuambia wewe ingia saa mbili hadi saa saba ukichelewa sana saa nane ama saa tisa lakini umeadikisha mia tatu kwa siku. Ukipata hiyo unangangana unachapa. Ikakuja pia ikaanza kukosa. Mungu ni mwaminifu nikaanza kutafuta tu vibarua na sikuwa si, si kuwa nakosa vile unapata tu kibarua unafanya unapata ka shilingi. Nikakuja nikaajiriwa nika kwa kabucharika moja a uh, a uh, Sasa hiyo mimi sijui mambo ya nyama lakini nilikuwa tu kijana mgeni. Lakini nilikaza bana nikakaza yani kitu yenye sijui na si kufunzwa mimi mwenyewe nikajifunza yeah. na nikajua nikakuja nikaona tena hapo mahali pana nikulia mbali then natoka usiku then iko tricky sana juu mahali natoka hakuna mtu mwenye simu oga bana mm. niambie mahali unatoka saa tatu saa na ikielekea nitapitia kwa magiza ukua mwanaume kwa hivyo lazima ujipange vizuri mm. nikaona hii place na niteza bana juu kila siku natoka mbio hadi nifike kwa soko yenyewe karibu lazima niende mbio mm. lazima niende mbio at least ikuwa kuna kitu tanitatiza mwenye tuta kutana na yeye kwa barabara kujaribu kunishika tu hivi akinyosha mkono nishapita niko kule nikaona hii job manze iko tricky nikatoka nikasema sasa acha nipambane na vibarua zaidi sasa ile ya ukweli yeah. my friend kama kuna mtu mwenye anajua kiambu vizuri town 
Na kuna mtu mwenye anajua mahali kunaitwa Riabai mahali nasema town. Nilikuwa natoka hapo na penyea kwa jia naenda kutokea mahali kunaitwa Kitamayo hapo. Mm. Na chapa miguu hadi place inaitwa Kamiti ka, ka, ka Corner on Kawa West. Mm. Naingia kwa estate zilikuwa hapo si mara moja si mara mbili si mara tatu. Kwa estate zilikuwa hapo niangalie kazi ya mijengo vibarua. My friend unazunguka kuanzia asubuhi hadi saa nne mm. Ukifika saa nne unakata tamaa. Unasema hata nijipea allowance ya wanawa niangalie kama naweza pata ya kesho. Mm. Unaingia unangangana unatafuta hakuna. Ujui sasa siwezi rudi kwa nyumba. Yeah. Sio akili zangu kila time nilikuwa na na, na, na jia mingi. Mm. Kila time nikienda hii area, kama nikienda hiyo side ya Kamiti Corner najua nikikosa hapa nitashika barabara hadi Kawa West mm. na ni miguu. Na kanyanga Kawa West nafika Kawa West hiyo ni kitu saa nane Nasema hata basi niangaike huko nione kama nitapata ya kesho. Mm. Nangangana nangangana huko bado inakosa. Sasa ujue lazima nijue vile nitafika home. Kwa hivyo nitachorea kuna jia inaingilianga mahali kuna itangwa Kiamombi inakuja kutokea um, uh, uh, Kiambu Institute that is Kiste inakuja kutokea mahali hapo. So ujue ukiingia na hiyo njia utakuja kutokea hapo then urudi Kiambu. Siku imeisha. Kesho kesho utarudi sasa hiyo area ulikuwa juu hujapata na hujapata hata ya kesho. Hasa kesho unaamkia saidi ya Dedego kama ni Dedego. Na wote Dedego ilikuwa tricky maana akili zangu zilikuwa zinaambia kwamba ikishafika de kwanza sana sana ikishafika de 15 na sijalipa nyumba, akili zangu ilikuwa inaniambia tu ukikosa kibarua rudi kwa nyumba. Ah ah. Na kumbuka siku moja ni nilikuwa ni, nimebeba hadi lunch eh. nikasema acha niende nikatafute kibarua. Nikaenda Dedego my friend, nikazunguka kutafuta kibarua. Wapi? sikupata. Nikazunguka kwa site zote za mijengo wapi? Hakuna kupata. Hadi nikazunguka nikakuja nikapata jamaa mmoja ilikuwa kitu saa tano akaniangalia tu hivi. Akanidharau. Akaniambia kijana, utakubali kufanyia 300. Ai, nikafikiria hata kama nahitaji pesa kitu inafanyia 300 na kazi yenu na mbu fanye mjengo. Ai nikamwambia zibro, si unifikishia hata 450 bana. Yeah. Ili tu hata kama wale wengine wanalipwa 600 huko, mimi tu nifikishie 450 nifanye. Mm. Jamaa kumbe alikuwa ananipiga tu chocha aone kama huyu kijana anaweza kubali, nikamwambia zimi mimi mimi nikaa nitashindwa. Then nikaona juu sasa hakuna otherwise. Wakati huo brother yangu bado alikuwa anaishi sasa za za, za udhiru. Mm. Nikasema juu hakuna otherwise, sasa nashika njia ani kwa brother yangu. Nikashika njia kutoka the ndigu wa nikaenda nikafika Unaona pale DCI na hapo chini okay. Nikageti mahali pale kwanza nikakula ile chakula nikuwa nimebeba Ndwa at least nipate nguvu Nikatembea mimi yo mudaiga Mimi yo nikashika Nikashika barabara ya, ya pangani Nikaenda kutokia Westlands pale nyuma Nikapata bradhangu Nikaenda kwa ke Atukai to I think nilikaa siku moja nikamwambia juu hata wewe una pesa na na job yako hujalipa sitakaa hapa lazima mm. niende bado nyumba yangu pengine naweza pata imefungwa na nini then uh, nikachomoka tena miguu hata simwambi nikamwa akaniambia na sasa utaenda miguu nikamwambia sasa bro sina otherwise lazima tupambane lazima nijue kule venye mambo nitashughulikia mm. nikatoka tena miguu Nikapitia kawangwari hapo, nikasalimia sisi tangu hata siku taka kuonyesha mi nikona mambo, nikawambia, nikona metembea kidogo, naenda narudi sasa. Nikashika jia. My friend nilitembea. Mi siju nilipitia wapi juu sijai pitia jia kawangwari migu. Nikaingilia po mieta siju niliingilio, faina ni nikuja kujipata Westland. Hata kujipata Westland nimechanganyikiwa. Siju huku ni wapi, akili zangu zinambia niko Nairobi. Sasa nianza kutafuta jia kuenda kiambu. Mm. Nianza kuulizia watu simu niambia hapa mtu anaingianga aje diyo niteremke na kiambu. Ujua akili zangu zinambia niko Nairobi wapi? Mm. Ndani, town. Nikaanza kuuliza watu mtu ananiambia bu piga ile kono utaiona. Nikiuliza mwingine ananiambia piga ile kono utaiona. Sasa venye niluzia mwishu wakaniambia nivuke barabara, niende the other side nitaiona. Vile nililuka barabara nikaona place najua. Ah, nikasema, ah. Kumbe hata niko Westland. Sawa tu. Nikachukua njia hapa ngani. Nikaenda nikatokea Mudaiga. Nipotokea Mudaiga nikikuja kufika hapa DCS hiyo nimechoka miguu ina nguvu siwezi hata tembea. Nikaona jamaa wa boda. Huyu jamaa wa boda uh, nikamuomba lift. My friend huyo mungu huyo mtu alinileta hadi Kiambu. Nimesema kwani Mungu anatumananga aje. But hata chenye kikuwa inanisumbua si tu mtu amenibeba. Mm. A, 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 Take na nisubua ni uu mtu hamefikiria ame, ame Yani anafikiria aje mm. Unajua kuna vile unaweza saidia mtu Ama uu unaweza saidia mm. Manzo uanze kujuliza uu mtu anajuliza aje mm. Ama kuna vile unaweza saidia mtu mm. Then uanze kujuliza manzo uu mtu angetoboa 
huyo mtu angetoboa yani wewe umemsaidia lakini unashindwa manzi huyu mtu walai sijui kaa angetoboa mimi anajiweka kwa mind za huyo jamaa bila anafikiri huyo jamaa angefika huku hai yes. akanieka wakati huo i had my cousin alikuwa anafanya kazi hapo uh, tu within kiambu mm. nikampigia simu nikamwambia manzi bro mimi niko maunenge niko, niko nja ile mbaya nitafutia tu kitu naweza kula kanambia hapa kuna food ya staff ilikuwa hapa na unaweza kuja ukule mimi akaenda akanipea chakula nikakula nikaenda nyumbani nipoenda nyumbani after kukaa siku mbili nikafungiwa nyumba that was my first time kwa experience kufungiwa nyumba mm. maana mimi na mimi nilikuwa na, nalipa on time sikuwa naamini kama mtu anaweza nigeuka nikikosa pesa mm. do you know nilikuja nikapata nyumba yangu imefungwa nikaketi chini hivi nilikuwa nimefika saa tatu ya usiku nikaketi chini hivi kwa nyumba hadi saa nne nikajiuliza sasa nitaenda wapi mm. nikapigia my cousin akaniambia wewe kuja hapa kwangu so jua tisi kwa naishi mbali na my cousin so unaona ile aibu mm. mimi nakaa kwa nyumba siwezi toka nje maana nashindwa sasa watu hapa wananiona aje mm. maze halafu hiyo place nilikuwa nimejulikana kama muhubiri njoo kwa kila matanga hiyo place mimi nilikuwa naitwa nikahubiri kwa kila mambo kuna event hapo alikuwa anajua preacher ni Nixon hadi mm. siku moja nikapata na tumikora fulani tukitaka kunipora mwenye mmoja alinishika hivi kwenda kuniuliza maswali mwingine akamuuliza he kwani huyu ni pastor mnamuuliza nini anambia <laughs> juni kwenda kupreach kwa matanga fulani akaniambia na uende na uhubiri haraka tunataka kuimba mimi nikaenda maana kila mtu alikuwa ananijua so nilikuwa na aibu manzee nikitoka hapa nje hao watu wananijua aje watanichukulia aje mm. ah siku moja nikaenda kuongea na huyo lado tafuta nimemaliza siku mbili akakuja akaniambia kijana mimi nimeambiwa hata mali ulikuwa unaishi before ukuja hapa kwangu mm. au kunalipa hao kumbe hizi mambo zote zimeletwa na mtu alikuwa anataka ni, nifukuzwe nyumba yenye naishi ahamia hapo mm. juu yenye alikuwa anaishi si mzuri mm-hmm. mimi nakumbuka i cried nililia huyo mama nikamwambia ni sawa mm-hmm. lakini mimi nataka tu nikwambie kitu moja mimi sio mimi nilijileta kiambu mm-hmm. kuna Mungu aliyenileta kiambu mm-hmm. na nataka tu ijulikane na umwambie hata mwenye amekutuma Mungu aliyenileta kiambu ako na sababu na maisha yangu mm-hmm. na mnazadhani huo ndo mwisho kumbe huu ndo mwanzo na subirini muone Mungu venye ataanza na mimi na nikalia machozi yangu na nikatoka nikiwa na hasira nikilia na nikaenda after nimeenda nikakuja sasa nikaona like uh, manzee job ya barua inakosa kabisa kuna mahali kunaitwa Roiro kuna kuna kambuni kubwa sana ya kutengeneza nywele inaitwa Angels nikakuja nikasikia huko kuwa kuna chukua yangu unjua saa hizi na do lazima nikanyange foot hey na ujua hapo uliopo niliambiwa huyo uh, huyo mzungu siju mkorea wa hapo ajulikani siku yenye anatoka kwa hivyo watu wanategeanga tangu mande to friday na ajulikani siku yenye anatoka na akikuja hata kunanga eti ni mpenye tu mmeketi chini yana tu kani favor tu anakuangalia tu anakuambia we kuja na kuangalia we anakuambia tu kuja hai mimi nikakanyanga siku ya kwanza nikategea 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 wapi siku ya kwanza nilienda na kabaisikeri na nikarudi siku ya pili nikaenda na kabaisikeli nikarudi siku ya tatu sikuwa na kabaisikeli lazima nikakanyanga foot nikatoka kutoka wa, all the way from Kiambu hadi Roiro miguu sasa nikaenda manze ni konja sijakula tangu jana kwa hiyo nyumba hakuna chakula sina hata kitu sina mtu wetu najua mwili kanizidia nikaanza kuumwa na kichwa na mwili wangu ikakuwa mbaya sana I remember nikipigia my mom nikamwambia mom kama unaweza tu niokolea mia mahali niko niko nikamweleza hadi mahali niko nikamwambia sababu nilikuwa nimekuja kufanya wewe tafuta mahali utanikopea tu mia nitumie at least kwanza ninunue dawa then nitafute kitu naweza kula Mungu ni mwema mama hakuwa na kitu akaniambia nitatafuta nitakutumia mimi nikasema sitaongojea juu nianza kwa usiku acha nianza kukanyanga niru nirudi Mungu ni mwema hata nimekanyanga tu kidogo kutoka kutoka hapo 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 sijui kuna itangwa masaku hapo kwa hiyo soko ya Ruiru. Hata nimekanyanga kidogo nikaona mtu wa boda, nikamwomba lift. Mimi nilidhani tu ataniweka tu hapo mbele. Boy jamaa anaenda hadi Kiambu. Haya ya ya ya. Huyo jamaa akuja akanieka nikashindwa. Manzee kuna zile shukrani na shina yangu utaambia mtu aje. Manzee mimi nitakushukuru aje. Mimi nikamwambia tu thank you Mungu akubariki. Mimi nikatoka. Nikaenda kwa nyumba. Nilipoenda kwa nyumba, uh, nilikuwa na marafiki, nikakaa siku kidogo. After siku kidogo sasa ikawa manzee unajua sina food sasa lazima nitegemee kwa marafiki ile tu unaendanga tu ni kama umeenda kutembea tu ndo wapike ndo ukule siku moja uh, uh, watu fulani tu nikiwahubiria walikuwa wamelewa nikamwambia sasa mara ngapi nitawaambia pombe ni mbaya maana walikunywa mmoja wao akaanza akaanza kutapika like uh, hali yake ikakuwa mbaya nikauliza ni lini nitawaambia pombe ni mbaya mmoja akaniambia nika ukiongea kuhusu pombe hapa nitakuchapa nikamwambia mimi hapana mimi kama ni mambo ya ukweli nitawaambia na sitakana imani yangu juu yetu utanichapa akaniambia nimekuonya mara ya pili 
Sasa mara ya tatu juange ni chapa aliniuliza aha sasa wewe Yesu unashinda ukitutajia hapa nini amekufanyia tuonyeshe mm. my friend that was my first time kudhiakiwa juu ya wokovu mm. hapo ndo nilikaa chini yani ndo nili, nilikaa chini mimi kama mwanaume mm. nikalia tu peke yangu kwanza nikafikiria nitamjibu nini nikamwambia okay Yesu amenifanyia nini the only thing ninge prove Yesu amenifanyia amenipatia uzima niko mzima na pumu kaambia mimi si amenipatia afya niko mzima na pumua but hiyo kitu ilinikoroga akili na mawazo ah ikanikoroga hapo ndio kuna wimbo wangu unaitwa nibariki ulitokea kaambia god nilitoka mashambani nikaja mjini kutafuta manze si wacha tu julikane mungu naishi sio julikane mungu upo So acha julikane kwamba Mungu manze mimi nimeokoka. Yaani do you know sometimes eh, sisi wenye tumeokoka ndo si upitia challenges mob mm. kiasi ya kwamba hakuna watu wanaweza tuamini mm. na hakuna watu watu wanaweza ona uh, uh, furaha ya wokovu wetu. Mm. But I thank God uh, on, on this Sunday uh, 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 our pastor alikuwa na to preach about a blessing to be a blessing. Mm. And one thing alitukuotia ni kwamba kumbe umaskini Uh, is not our portion yes. na kumbe umaskini is a demonic spirit mm -hmm. hmm? na kumbe venye tuliumbwa tuliumbwa uh, sisi ni, 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 ni kizao cha Abraham baba yetu mm -hmm. na bebe inasema kwamba sisi tutar kama tumeitanishwa na Kristo sisi ni wana wa Ibrahimu mm -hmm. na tu waridi pamoja na ahadi zake mm -hmm. na kama Mungu alimwaahidi kwamba atambariki that means pia nasi tunafaa tupate zile baraka amen amen, amen. amen. wow that's so powerful and i guess i don't know you've been motivated have you been inspired by that story that life journey by nixon music you thank god for everything thank god penye nakutoa we thank god penye nakufikisha na we thank him more penye anakupeleka mm. in the meantime there's another song alifanya ni to amen yes then we'll be right back as as we wind up the show so continue sending your comments and be sampling them before the end of this show so in the meantime at a tender we'll be, we'll be playing here on it in the morning <laughs> Jana mana ya jana imeshapita Tena soka makesho ajua yote ni maulana Muona sakupambana na hayo mambo sio yaona Mutie teo basha mata tenda wakati ukiwadia Ni kweli ana kera sana unayopitia usiku na mchana nyakati zingine unawaza ni kama Mungu ashakutokanga destiny alizipanga Tuna majira yake asubuhi ya kwa ikikucha utaimba wimbo wa ushindi kuna mapresha kila siku kujilinganisha nao watu na pengine maliza uniza mizimu je hivyo unafahamu sidi kwa magoti subiri mungu jipe muda umuabudu aona ye kwa siri hii acha kujibia Amen 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 that amen. was at Atena by Nixon Muziki yeah. fading out yeah because of time we we'll, are we'll not able to play it yote mm. so because uh still need time to know there's a pata wapi kwa YouTube pale kwa Facebook mm. or on your social media platforms unaweza kupata kama nani yeah mimi ni Nixon Muziki mm. uh, tu nimesema kwa kwa social mtandao zangu zote naitwa Nixon Muziki son of Wamani Facebook, Instagram. Uh, pia TikTok. YouTube pia naitwa Nixon Muziki. Make sure umeni follow, make sure umesubscribe kwa channel yangu. 
kuwa baraka kwangu maana kila mtu anajituma kivi yake na vile nimesema sio eti Nixon muziki vile alivyo hapa eti life bado iko fiti zi bado tunakazana sisi familia yangu bado ishaikuwa fiti zi bado ari ziko lakini bado tunakazana nikwambie kitu mtazamaji wa HBTV kwamba vile tunaishi atuishi juu maisha ni mema lakini tunaishi maana kuna matumaini ya maisha mema kesho kwa hivyo tia bidii kazana kivi yako manze mimi bado napambana kivi yangu zile alizilinikalia bado Mungu alikam na bado tunangangana tunamwamini Mungu wa come through vile mm. God too come through tunaamini ya God weka zana we amini Mungu weka imani yako strong mm. yani usiache kitu chochote kile yani kikuangushe usiache kitu chochote kile kikutoe kwa jia ya imani huyu mm. Mungu mwenye alionekania wengine imagine pia atakuonekania mm. na hakuna kitu kizuri kama kuomba ili hombi Mungu wa so and so si ukue Mungu wangu leo yes. Mungu wa Isaac Mungu wa Ibrahim Mungu wa Jacob Mungu wa Elijah mm. si ukue Mungu wangu leo hiyo maombi ndio utushindania mm. na hiyo maombi ndio utuinua so mimi naitwa Nixon muziki ukinifuata kila mahali tuta 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 communicate vizuri tutafanya mambo mzuri ukitaka kuwa pia wa baraka kwangu unajua bado mziki e, mziki kuna watu chukulia rais lakini mziki ni gharama ukiona mwimbaji mwenye amesimama amejifanyia audio peke yake amejifanyia video peke yake amejikakaza kila kitu peke yake manzi mpatie tu ile heshima yake inafaa kama kuna vile tu unaweza support msanii yani umwambie bro we mimi nataka tu nikusupport manzi eh, eh, we ingia studio ama fanya video just please just do maana pia utakuwa baraka kwa ule mtu na vile mioyo ya watu itabarikiwa ndio pia nao utabarikiwa amen amen, amen. ah sana sana nixon mm. baby nixon uh, last year december mm. yao nikuona pale kwa fema awards you are is it first runners up uh, first yeah first runners up you ni number 2 si mm, number 2 ya kulikuwa category gani ilikuwa um, Eh Vanaki la song of the year. Vanaki la song of the year. Yeah 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 yeah. And thank God for you. Mm. Yeah. Ona ukipitia BD Mungu pia anakukumbuka na anakubariki zaidi na zaidi. Mm. Yeah and I, and I hope and I know this year you're going to God is going to do you more and more. And more. A- amen amen. Amen. Yeah this this tune need to bariki. Mm. Itakuwa anatubariki nayo kabla tumalize show hapo mm. TV in the morning. Mm. Itaenda kukubariki pia. Mm. Yeah because okay. Amen. So nichukue nafasi hii. Nishukuru watu wangu watu wa upande wangu. Uh, nishukuru Team Nixon muziki pale WhatsApp. Manzi wamekuwa watu wa baraka. Kuna watu wenye manzi wamenisaidia kushare songs zangu, kushare kila kitu changu nafanya. Nishukuru familia yangu ya Kiambu inaitwa Dominion Tambana Kao Church. Nishukuru sana uh, Daddy Pastor Prince, may the Lord bless you na watu wangu na rika wangu wa Dominion na watu wangu wa Dominion Tambana Kao wamekuwa watu wangu wa familia yani wamenishika yani na shukuru Mungu. Nishukuru wangu watu, watu wangu wa Limuru maana pale ndo naishi. Kuna wale watu wamesimama na mimi Kindete. Kuna wale watu wanaamini kile kiko ndani yangu yes. Mungu awabariki Mungu awatende mema mm. na tunavyozidi kuendelea tunaaminia Mungu mambo makubwa tunaaminia Mungu mambo mazuri na pia tunaamini kwamba Mungu kuna viwango anatupeleka amen. na tuache kumwamini Mungu amen. God bless you God do you good Amen right, pale kwa Facebook kuna Sonia Kuria mm. kituangalie mbio mbio nani wamekuwa tuned in kuna John Mwendwa Mudho 10 can see you Nancy Arvista uh, ako hapo aha who else is there this George Guki uh, George Guki sorry George Guki said Mugisa mhm said Juma Mugisa is tuned in kuna Daniel Jogu mhm or Samuel Divo Divo Gitau mhm yeah thank you so much for tuning in and for uh watching it in the morning show you know baraka sana 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 tunasema asante sana mhm Nixon let me leave you short for that please to fungia kwa maombi amen let's pray Father we bless your name and we honor your holy name. Thank you for this moment the Lord has given us. Thank you for your grace, thank you for your love, thank you for your mercies. We honor you and we bless you. Thank you Lord for giving me this opportunity to be in this south this morning HB TV Lord. I bless you and I honor your holy name. Bwana nakushukuru kwa ajili ya kipindi hiki cha asubuhi. Tunakiombea kibali na neema zaidi kwa jina la Yesu. Nakushukuru kwa ajili ya watazamaji wa HB TV. Bwana ninawaombea neema wanaokuhitaji bwana kuwafungulia milango kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana wanaokuaminia mambo mengi na maombi yao bwana kayajibu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Winuliwe Bwana na uimidiwe program zote za siku ya leo tunazikabidhi mikononi mwako. Tunawaombea hawa neema na kibali za kupenya kwa jina la Yesu management yote ya HBTV. Tunawaombea neema na kimbali kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Mungu ukawe Mungu wao, Baba ukawe mpiganizi wao kwa jina la Yesu. Ninakupenda, ninakuinua, ninakuimidi kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Sana Nixon. Sana sana kwa wako na semani asante kwa 
kubali wito mm. ya nashukuru Mungu kwa jinsi anavyokutumia mm. namba pia endelee kukuwa na wewe kwa ministry yako na endelee kukushikilia amen all right so thank you so much it has been HPTV in the morning we thank you for tuning in to our producer that is at Kangwana Yaro say thank you to our director Atoko Felix uh, to the transmission team that is the head of the transmission team at Nick Omondi salute you and to our headboard manager at Masi Gudoy salute you and to our CEO at Bishop Reverend James Gudoy Wesonga not forgetting my co-host at uh, Jane Irongo we salute you yeah and above all to almighty god for giving us this chance to minister unto you so thank you so much it has been uh, prayer and testimony tuesdays here on hbtv in the morning thank you for tuning in and now may the grace of, of our lord, lord jesus christ, christ and, and the, the love, love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit, spirit be with us now and forevermore amen amen amen, amen. amen. in the meantime nibariki. Mimi